Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing? I'm just checking in with you all on the Taster series, okay? I want to quickly, before we get into today's topic, just quickly check that you've all got the last prior days so that you know you should be and how to contract your pelvic floor and transverse muscles. You're doing those 10, 10, 10 reps throughout the day. Hopefully you're managing those a lot better now. Upper abdominals relaxing a little bit more. Finding your transverse more as well, okay? And then what we went through yesterday, are you using your core muscles throughout the day? These, these two things are key in progressing and improving your core strength and function. Now today, I wanna to just tell you a little bit about the normal mummy tummy challenge levels, because for those of you who have joined up, you're gonna receive your access details tomorrow. So with the normal mummy tummy challenge, you have four levels. If you're pregnant, you follow level four, okay? And now the next three, can get a little bit confusing, okay? Because you do really need to know which level to follow for the best results for you. Now, if you have never done our No More Mummy Tummy Challenge before, and you've not done any exercise for maybe six to 10 months, never worked with a personal trainer, and never got this pelvic floor and transverse, you weren't aware of that, you guys need to do level one, okay? So everybody in that category, you start on level one. Now, what you might find is, you might find that first section of exercise is a little bit easy over the first four days, but then it will start to get a little bit harder as the challenge progresses. If you do find it too easy, you're finding that you can keep control of your pelvic floor and core muscles throughout the exercises, then you can also move up to level two. That's no problem. You've got all the videos there. Now, level two on the challenge is what we tend to say as for those with a functional diastasis. So generally, if you've been doing six to eight weeks of our Birth to Fit Mum program, six to eight weeks of another core program, you've got good control of your pelvic floor and transverse abdominal muscles. When you come up to assess your diastasis, it reduces and you increase the tension, okay? So that's when you know you're ready for the level two on the No More Mummy Tummy Challenge. Now tomorrow, I'm gonna go through the test sequence with you because most of you are gonna get um, your access details for the challenge and you'll see the videos of how to test your core function for those levels, okay? If you're more advanced on than that, so you may be six to 12 months postnatal, you've been working with me as a trainer, or maybe you've done the entire Birth to Fit Mum program, Super Fit Mum, you guys go on level three. That's the advanced core exercises, okay? So minimal diastasis, great pelvic floor muscle function, good control over your technique, Good tension control, level three. Level two, reminder, functional diastasis, improved core function and strength, certainly not leaking. Not done any core work before, surprised at how you need to activate your core muscles, level one. Okay, so they're the levels on the program. So I just wanted to give you a little bit more in depth. Hi Mel. Um, detail about what's coming up in the No More Mummy Tummy Challenge. Now today's challenge for you guys, what I want you to do is up your water. All right, now, the breastfeeding mums, if there's any breastfeeding at the moment, you guys need three to four liters a day, which is huge, okay? For those of us who are not breastfeeding, two liters a day is what we need to aim for. Now, if our water starts to, to drop down in our hydration, we become dehydrated. What happens? Energy decreases, increase in tiredness, and guess what we start to crave? We start to crave sugar, all right? So really important, guys, that we get that hydration up now, which is your challenge for the next two to three days. So what I want you to do before you have every meal, before you've had breakfast this morning, I've just had mine have a glass of water. 
Before you have your morning snack, have a glass of water. When you're doing your exercise, have a glass of water. All right, so let's try and get that water in now through the next three days because it increases your energy, decreases your tiredness, and stops us craving those sweet treats. All right, we're gonna go over the levels and how to assess everything, your core function tomorrow. We're gonna do a little bit more nutrition. Anything you wanna know, please ask me all your questions and I can answer them for you. Make sure also now is a good time to go and join the No More Mummy Tummy Challenge if you haven't done already. I'll put the link in here today, but the link is on the webpage because everybody's gonna get their access details tomorrow. Woohoo! All right, everybody, have a fantastic day. How are you all going? We are on day seven here, I think, in isolation. I'm going all right. The weather here is fabulous, which is a blessing for us, so and we can still go outside. Hi, Linda. Um, I know Mel's in New Zealand with us, so it's quite good, but I don't know how you're all coping if you've got a lot of little ones at home, which a, a lot of you who are following on here have, and we're all at that stage. And it's April Fools. Our kids have played some April Fools this morning. They've been loving that. All right, so don't forget to do that on them as well. All right, everybody, I will speak to you all tomorrow. Take care. Pelvic floor TA contractions water hydration and get ready for those access details coming through. Bye everyone.